everyone. It's Jay Whitty. Welcome to Friday with Friends. It's just me and Donna tonight. I'm the engine. She'll be your caboose. And I have a link to her uh, video in the description box down below. So this is a angel wing pour um, attempt that I tried about four months ago on my channel. And it now hangs in my son's home. And he asked if I could make a complimentary piece or a sister piece to that one. And so that's what I'm doing tonight. So um, what I have again is the 12 by uh, 36 inch stretched canvas. Um, and I will be attempting once again to try and recreate that. But of course, we all know that that's not going to come out identical. But I, I did a pretty awesome job in, in making a, a piece. So that's the cup, the little measuring cup that I had there that I'm going to be pouring my paint into. That's an old mayonnaise jar, and I use that to prop my canvas up. I'm a south paw, so this is the that's the side I needed to pour from so that I'm not blocking the view of the camera. <laughs> but actually, because I'm lefty, I needed to go from that angle. So I don't put any kind of a base coat down. Um, I'm simply going to be layering my colors into that cup right there. And the colors that I'm using this evening, that is the Deco Art Americana Metallics Pearl. Um, the next color is the Deco Art Americana Metallics 24K Gold. And that is followed with the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Rich Espresso. And then I follow that with the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Champagne Gold. Lots of metallics in this one. The only metallic not used is the Artist Loft Soft Bodied Black. And then my Flow Extender is Deco Art Dazzling Metallics White Pearl. And that is mixed with Flow Troll and lots of water to thin to really thin that down. Um, but the rest of my colors are all mixed with Mixed Pour. You can obtain that uh, through Kristen, or I'm sorry, Krista Ramusen. Um, and you can reach her at Krista8974 at gmail.com to order some of your own mix. It gives you the perfect consistency for this type of pour. So I begin to layer my cup. And on the first video that I did on my first attempt with this, I didn't really show that aspect of how I layered the cup very well. So this time I, I wanted to make sure that I really kind of slowed things down so that you could see how I layered my cup. Um, I put the colors in, um, all of the metallics, and then I do something a little bit different with the black. And you're going to see, um, probably should have sped this up just a smidgen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> because we fall asleep watching me layer the cup. Um, once you get your four colors, is that one, two, three? Yeah, four colors in. Then take the black, which is your fifth color. You're not going to layer it in like that. What I do is I take this popsicle stick and I kind of drizzle it around the outer edge, as you're going to see here in a minute. Um, or close to the outer edge, as close as you can get. So you do that, and that's what I did on the first go around. And it made for some really interesting effects. And it kind of keeps the black down to a minimal. It kind of gives you a little bit of contrast without taking over. And then, of course, I go ahead again and I begin to layer in the same order as I did before. There we go. That's the 24K gold. Um, I gotta tell you though, when these paints dry, <laughs> the shimmer is just so incredible. So incredible. Now, um, I use a satin finish. I don't think that it needs a gloss and I don't think that it needs resin as far as a top coat once the paint is dried and cured. I think it would just take away from the, the shimmer of these metallics and the shimmer is beautiful. So when I take you in at the end of the video um, 
for the uh, wet results, well, basically the dried results. I tried to do the dried results the best I could. I filmed that, it was nighttime, I missed the sunshine, and then it was overcast today, and I had things to do, and I just didn't get a chance to to film when the sun was out, uh, my dried results. It took three days for this painting to dry, by the way. <laughs> so, um, but I did the best I could to pick up that shimmer, and you'll see what I'm talking about, you know. Uh, when I take you in for those results at the end of the video so and then I go proceed to do one more layer so I think I did a total of three layers in all before I begin to to do the pour so um, again this is fun um, he's also asked me to do a larger piece um, to complement these two and I haven't quite figured out the technique that I'm going to be doing but that piece will be done on a 30 six by 48 inch canvas that canvas i'm gonna have to put on my studio floor because i don't have a table big enough to accommodate that <laughs> at the moment so that will be coming up before too long um i'm hoping to get it done and ready for him in time for christmas so we shall see <laughs> but anyways you'll have to stay tuned to my channel so if you're new to my channel welcome i'm glad you're here i do invite you to hit the uh <laughs> subscribe button I do invite you to subscribe I'm just tripping over my words tonight uh, hit that notification bell for future uploads so you don't miss any of my content um, up after me is Donna it's by it's art by Donna M so please stay tuned and hop on over to her channel there's a link to her channel in the description box down below I hope you enjoy what you see so leave me a comment down below let me know what you think I'm always looking forward to hearing from you. And with that, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this video. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.
Believe 